All right, we out here, LA. We just finished the podcast. It was a great one. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. Check out what Ale has to offer. Look at, check this out. got my dude on the hot seat out here and we're doing this podcast in this episode because man it's been it's been a journey right now currently the numbers are are blowing up they're booming and thankfully she's here right now Ashley but she said this is what was meant to be mm-hmm. we're living in our truth we're living in our in our path as much as we may not want to believe what our path is like once you go through that journey and you, I mean, you get to some sort of light, like the, you get paid back and you get to see it all for yourself finally. And we're just like, damn, it's been crazy, huh? It's been fucking crazy this week, bro. Put it up for D- Dylan's the one that handles all the mic. Yeah, bro, he handles the mic. And right I now he's a little, the mic for me he's, right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's a half asleep, but this is, if you guys don't know him already, <laughs> This is Dylan. This is the dude behind the camera holding it down for me, for the team, because, shit, we have, what is it, eight, nine months now out here? Out here, out here nine, nine months, I think. About nine? Nine. Jesus. And, man, it's been crazy. It's been fucking crazy, bro. So tell me, bro, how do you feel? Your journey personally. Um, I feel fucking amazing right now, bro. And it's not just because this week, um, but what's been going on this week is just, you know, like you said, it, it's in other words, finally paying off. All those Saturdays and Sundays, the whole weekend, you know, you can say that we've been sacrificing being with our families, going to work and stuff like that for doing this. Yeah. Are finally paying off. And it's like, you know, you get to see the struggle and then to where we're at right now. We're like, we're not there no more, bro. And that's. That was the whole point of this. You know, we're not supposed to be down there any longer. We're, n- we're not the same when we started. Exactly, bro. So if you're struggling, you're complaining, you're complaining, you're complaining, you're not getting anywhere. Then why the fuck are you complaining, bro? Mm. You know? You waste too much time, man. Exactly. So, and unfortunately, I think we both had to learn it the hard way that the people that we have around us are not always going to stay around us. Oh, that's a big part of it. The too, bro. people that we once counted on. We're not going to be able to count on them no more. Oh, hell yeah. But it's how we said, dude, like, as soon as your love, the love and trust is questionable, like, you have to leave. Like, we do not, we're not reachable anymore. You can't call me anymore like that. Don't ask about me. Don't wonder about me. Don't look through my stuff. Because I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and what I'm meant to be. And most of these people, bro, you don't have to be like, oh, I want to take you out of my life. They take themselves out of your life, bro. And that's the best part, you know, like. You don't have to be looking for someone to take out of your life. You know, they're going to do it themselves Yeah. when the time comes. And it's like, you just have to roll with the people you roll with. Like, just you and I sometimes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you and I sometimes. And at the end of the day, that's fucking dope because we keep it real. And that's that's the best part of it, bro. Yeah, like right now we're going to switch off. And we have Cindy here that wasn't ready for this. But she's finally back. Um, We have Ashley here. And, I mean, Ashley kind of jumped on. What do we have? Like two months? A month? And like she came on just like on a vibe. And the thing about building the circle, building a team is not everybody has to have a million dollars or possessions to come and be about who we are or be a, be on this team. It's just we're all in a journey and it doesn't have to be the exact same one. It's just we're all trying to find ourselves and be somebody bigger, better, change the world, help others along the journey because I feel like everybody here – And it's crazy because we're going to say this and we're all selfless and we all want to give to others Mm -hmm. rather than give to ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to fill other people's cup rather than fill ourselves. And when Sydney jumps on here, like, 
this is just a perfect example of us doing it without intentionally trying. It's just we see an opportunity to help somebody, you know, get some light that they need. Bro, because I think our light is going to come no matter what. Uh Like, I think the lights may be off in our life for a long time, and it may seem forever. But as soon as we get out of it and get to the light, we're just like, And I feel like you got to do it without expecting anything back. Like, most of us, I'm not seeing you do it. She was just talking about it right now, and it's like, most of, most of the time, when we do something nice for someone or we do something good out there, positive, we do it without wanting to receive anything back. That's you. Oh, hell yeah. With, without knowing, and I'm glad I have Dylan on here because I was calling him all day uh, yesterday. And, like, bro, like, as much as people see me on the camera and doing this, like, this is just as much mine as it is his. And if you know him... And if you don't, I need you guys to go find these type of friends that are ready to roll with you without expecting anything back. Like, we haven't got paid for the longest time, and we haven't had that, like, congratulations for a while. And it's until now that we battled, we fought, we went through our depression, through our mental health, through everything. Like, bro, like, we're fine. We're here. Like, we can literally say, like, we're doing it. And for you, like... Figuring out your own journey throughout this journey, and it's just like, you got to be proud of yourself. You have to give yourself those flowers and that recognition. Like, yo, all right, man, maybe I'm not where I'm where I want to be just yet, but I know I'm on the right path. Yeah. But the only way to get to that goal is we got to grind. Let's go. We got to yeah, grind. And if I could show the camera, I got my Nipsey Hustle shoes. The marathon continues. It may be a little dirty, but the mar- <laughs> my shoes got holes on the side. <laughs> But the marathon continues. I mean, anything you want to tell anybody um, or anybody watching that's doubting themselves that maybe not doesn't see the light just yet? I had a shitload of quotes and they all went blank. But um, <laughs> grab, you know, I think I, would, I think it would be don't lie to yourself. You know, don't lie to yourself and make you feel comfortable. Don't lie to yourself to make you feel okay when you're not. You know. And if you're not okay, you're not okay, bro. It's not, you're not always going to be okay. Yeah. And that's, I feel like sometimes you have to fall down to be able to see where you're going up to, you know? Because some people fall down and oh, I have to get right back up and just go at it. Yeah. Without realizing why they fell down or why are they down there, you know? So sometimes you have to fall down really analyze why you're down there to be able to go right back up, you know? So I think that's it, bro. That's the episode. Let's see. That's the yes, episode. sir. Let's go. Oh. oh, you go first. <laughs> Are you? Uh, okay, my name is Ashley. What else do I say? That's it. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just Ashley. <laughs> um, so wait, what was the question again? Um, how to get through a tough time? I feel like we're in okay. speech class right now. I know. I'm like, what is the proper way to? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, okay, so I think like one thing that's for sure like helps me. I'm pretty sure it helps other people but it's just like a bad place to get to or like a lot of people don't want to get there. It's just to be alone. Like, I feel like you have to be alone in order for you to like appreciate just everything else in life. Right. Like the, like taking the sad moments or whatever, but just, you have to do it alone. You have to go through the process, feel the sadness, feel the, just whatever emotions you're currently going through, but you have to do it alone. I think a lot of people just rely on like friends and family to put that on them. And it's like, oh, I'm sad, let me hit up my friends and just, like, um, desahogarme with them and, like, put that on them. And it's, like, no, you know, I mean, that's fine. I'm not saying don't do that, but it's, like, sometimes you just have to, like, soak in your own feelings and just sit there, cry it out, tough it out, take yourself out to dinner, have some coffee, do it yourself, and then before you know it, you're just going to, like, overcome that situation. It's just not even going to be a thought because you've already processed it, you know, yourself. Yeah. But that's just the way I think. I know a lot of people, you know, they just don't like to be alone and it's like a scary place, especially when it's like, um, when you just have like bad thoughts, like suicidal thoughts and stuff like that, you know, it's hard to be alone and you don't want those friends to be alone, but it's also like push them to, you know, to a certain extent to be like, all right, hit me up, but you also have to go through this, like do it to a certain point. And then when you hit a door, when you hit a wall or whatever, like, let me know. Yeah. I agree. I feel like a lot of times when I'm in that state of mind, like I pretty much 
I'm alone and I like to be alone because I like to feel like I want to see why am I feeling this way I do a lot of like the journaling part yeah. which is me reanalyzing like why am I doing this why am I feeling this way what is it that I can change to get me out of the position I'm in and not be, get there again and not be there mm-hmm. is this financially is this because I'm struggling financially or is this because I'm just not happy where I am or what I'm doing yeah. um sometimes I try to avoid drinking often because sometimes that triggers it a lot. Yeah, I've sure. noticed that when I'm drinking or I drink the night before or I go overboard or something, I don't feel as productive. And I know what works for me is being productive, mm-hmm. doing things, um, waking up early, and I try it's to moving. stay within yeah. that realm where I know, okay, this is going to work and this isn't mm-hmm. going to work. Yeah, for um, sure. But for sure, being alone, a lot of people are scared. Yeah. A lot of people are terrified yeah. of being alone, sitting alone, being in your own thoughts, being vulnerable with your own self. Mm-hmm. Um, just in self, like crying, like even crying, like sometimes you'll sit there and cry and you're just like, I don't know why I feel like this, yeah. but you're just, yeah. it's, it's I'll happening. be driving to work and I'm just like bawling in tears for no reason. And I'm like, it doesn't even matter. Like I had to let it out. It's something built up from God knows when. And it just has to come out because if it doesn't come out this way, it's going to come out in a whole nother emotion that I would just rather not like mm-hmm. get there I also don't like to get angry and sometimes if I bottle up my emotions way too much like it'll come out as anger and it's just it's not good for anyone yeah because like I'll start hurting people's feelings like for no reason just because I'm mad at myself so it's like I I'm really like big on like I have to go through it alone in order to like get through it otherwise I'm stuck you know because I don't like to be mean to people yeah, it's okay to be alone. You have to be alone. You have to go through it. You can't help me get through my, like, emotions because you don't know what, what I'm truly feeling. And it's not that I don't trust you to tell you how I'm feeling, but, you know, there's certain things that you just, it's hard to put out there and it's hard to say out loud and you just don't say it because certain emotions are, like, it's hard to tell, you know? Like, you just, it's more of a feeling and only you know what's going on. So I think I can explain to you, like, how I'm feeling or whatever, but because you've never gone through it or it's just like not a thing for you, you're just, you're not going to get it. So your response to me is not going to be what I want to hear. Only I know what you what's going to gonna yeah. like calm me or I think me. it's like good to have, oh, well, it's good to be in your space alone at the time. But if you do end up talking to a friend or discussing things with a friend, make sure that friend is like blunt and real with yeah, you. Yeah, not that someone too. that's going to sugarcoat. Mm-hmm. Oh, or, it's okay. Or only They'll, give you what you want to hear because yeah. you don't need that. Like you need somebody to just be like, a b and c and like that's it like I don't know what to tell you like this is where this went wrong or like this is my point of view and I'm not gonna be like oh but you're my friend so let me just Mm -hmm. like lie to you a little bit you know like no be alone just be alone just do it like whenever you're in those emotions just be alone who cares the worst piece of advice We've gotten. I don't know. Um, I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I don't what like do to think? hear. Um, uh, what is that? Somebody told me this one time. It all happens for a reason. I don't like to hear that like ever. Because I feel like if you're telling me that, it's because you know the reason. So tell me why. But then like I get it. Like it all happens for a reason, right? Like yeah. everything happens for a reason. Like one thing's gonna lead to another, like your downfall, like he was saying right now, like your downfall, like you have to take it in and just like analyze why you're there and it's gonna lead you to something else. But sometimes I don't like sometimes when I'm like down about myself or about whatever, then somebody's like, you know, it all happens for a reason. I'm just like, So what was the reason? Like who put you in the position? Literally, yeah. I'm like, who put you in the position to tell me like it all happens for a reason? Like, I, it's a good, like, thing. I just don't, sometimes don't like to hear it. Yeah. I think for me is the, when people say don't quit, like, sometimes you, I guess it depends on the context. So sometimes, like, you have to come to a realization that something's not working and you have to admit, like, like, telling someone don't quit, don't quit and still being in that same position over and over again is just, you're kind of hurting your own self. Like, you're not, you're not even realizing that what you're doing is not working, that you might have to take another route. Mm-hmm. Um, and not everything's going to work, and you have to learn to let go, and that's when failure kicks in. Because if you never quit or if you never step down from a position you've been where it's not working, mm-hmm. you've never realized or you've never even yeah. gone through failure. Yeah, that's for sure, too. So that's, like, for me. 
I agree. I was once told in the business by my mentor that if I quit, I was never going to become anyone or do anything other better, than, anything other, anything better than what I was doing at the moment. So I said, fuck you, and um, Look at you let now. me prove you wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Um, oh, because I encountered um, someone today. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to say that what you're going through right now um, is nothing, it's, it's not something that you can't handle. God puts us through many things and um, adversities, and he doesn't give you something that you cannot handle. So keep going, keep working. It's going to get better, and things always get better. And like I told Luis, what's for you, it's for you. Like if it's if it's for you, it's for you. Yep. What's what you mean, you? We mean yes. Jesus. Are we still recording? Uh, yeah, we're still recording. I'm still in the hot seat. Uh, so, oh. now nah, this is pretty much the end, <laughs> ending of this ep- special episode. And honestly, the reason why we're just doing this is because, I mean, again, when you're around people that are as motivated, like-minded, you know, selfless, just as you are, like, sort of a reflection of who you are, like, your vibe is just unmatched. Like, you can't find this, you can't imitate this, you can't fake this, because the love and the commodity that we just share is just, you know, unique, it's authentic, and how we always say it at the beginning of every podcast, I know I didn't do it at this one, but we are the most authentic, most organic, because... We don't script this. This is so unprepared how we just did it right now. And sometimes the most unprepared moments turn out to be the best moments. You know, the people that sitting here, I'm sitting with Cindy, which if you guys remember Cindy, this is a road dog through COVID, through <laughs> after. And again, this is people that I'm around that have helped me without even knowing and balance me in a sense that, I mean, when we got to check in and talk about life, like, our conversations can go on for for an hours, and just because we got to do stuff, we cut it off, but again, keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep, you know, changing people's life, and how Cindy just said, sometimes you doing a an act of, of grace can go a long way and change somebody's life. You can be having a shit day that moment, and because you decided to be nice to that person, you know, their outlook on life on that day just changed. And now they want to pass, pass it forward, pay it forward to somebody else because of what you just did for them. So don't be mean. Don't act, fo- don't act like a fool. Don't fake the funk. Don't be fake and don't try to act like who you're not. Be you. Be real you. Be authentic. If people don't like it, it's okay. Someone will like it at one point. And shit. That's the podcast. Let's roll it. <laughs>